Thomas left. Jackye snaps it. Kicked aside by Stushka. Lefebvre over top. And there are Ticats in the house, so it all does work out. Jackye knocks the puck down out high. It'll come off of a body. Taken up ahead by Aiden Young. Speaking of which, Daniel Chen. Trying to dig the puck loose from behind his own goal. I think it'll be a real positive experience read. Sometimes you get a group of young players coming in at the same time together and kind of growing up together. Yeah, I and think going through the system. Jack Ayanna steal tries the sharp angle. Stushka knocks that down. Ryder McIntyre brings it loose. Right point kept alive by Daniel Chen. Thomas for Lavoie, top of the right circle. Couldn't get the shot cleanly away. Young to him. Thomas better. Being in every game, there have been a lot of the games they've played here in these last few weeks just uh you know, you get into the third period and you play an older, heavier team that presents some real challenges for you. Govro around the back of the net. Sending it up ahead. That'll be taken down the left wing side by Kadorin. His drive clear on wide of the goal. Calvin Crombie navigating his way to the puck. He got stapled, but Jack Eye's the next man. Jack Eye tries it upstairs. That's a great point. Jack Eye trying to. Toss that puck back. It'll get on to Lucas Moore. Jack I there clean up his own giveaway really quickly. Lavoie running it around the back. And then although with the name Gordon White, it almost sounds like he should be this Jack I down off the end wall. And of course, long snappers are some of the most uh, fun folks in football. And Stushka will grab that puck down off back. They're coming together to make it tough for Okatundu to get a clean shot on goal. Shots 10-0, uh, and if you're David Egroff, you're looking to feel the puck here at some point, aren't you? I would think so, as Lavoie's drive is gloved down. And Martin Matejcik, who came over as well, who is uh, not a player to sneeze at whatsoever. Sobolev walks on. Hammers the there by Testa on helping out Brown. Even in full, five on five. Jack Eye from the top, works it wide. Okatundu! Jack Eye leaning in for the faceoff opposite of Jonathan Malie, old friend, as Jack Eye pulls the puck low, swings it out front, knocked aside by Haley. Trying to bounce that back along. Addy takes it, and Sobolev crashes into him with the hip. That is not a great. Gives the helmet a little adjustment, and off he goes. Yeah, that is toughness from Nico Addy. Page. Four year age difference between those players. And Daniel Sobolev, who is an artist with the canvas being the hip check. As Patrick Thomas drops it back for Florian Jack Ice drive, scores! He's on rolling, three goals in three games on the week, opens the scoring. But it's gonna come off a bit of a tough line change. The Pete's defenseman had gone for the change and then the puck is gonna come, you're gonna see our replay. Thomas is timed to catch, get set, and a little short two on one to the right is Stushka. Thomas drops it back for Florian. They made a nice glove save, Stushka did. Bulldogs 19 shots in this first period. The season high for them is 20 in a game on January 25th at Niagara. They just edited it at 220 on the board. There you go. Lavoie, one-timer, scores! White hot, but he cooled a little bit here in the last week or so. But that was just a great finish. Just a bang bang. You kind of wondered whether a little shake up here in a couple of plays. I would imagine that number is probably even higher. <laughs> As McCallum tosses it through the front. There's a whole group of Brantford Delhi guys that get together. Sobolev around back of the net. Would the ice be still in in Delhi or would they have to come up here to play? Uh, I'll have to ask that and get back to you. I'm guessing here. Yeah, I think it's a safe assumption. Shot from Young off of a leg. Cameron, backside, Taylor's drive, blocked by Okatundu. Moore's out of the box, even in full five on five as Nico Addy spins low. Top of the left circle, tosses to the front. Igorov sends that aside. Carson Cameron's had a nice season for the Beats. First round, their first round pick. Brown off the face off. Gonna work it through the right corner, tested Jack Eye there as well. Fredeller battling it. The Tay check. Or keep it in that tie up, and now Jack Eye takes it to the top. Sobel have left for a drive. Save. Power play opportunity for the Peets. So, whatever the call was, it was a minor. As the puck skips out of the zone, Testa. Checking from behind the call. All right, then. 
And then Testa gets sent to the end wall by Matejcik. Florian Jackai came in. Testa's back up onto his feet and not happy about it. Well, it was the back official, Mac Nickel, and it took a second to make the call. And things have broken down just a bit here. Bulldog's not happy. I think feeling that Matejcik took a headshot on Testa or something to that effect. Of his own out of this is Testa. Tried to pull it through his feet, goes to the end there wall. There you see the hit. Dangerous area of the ice. As he's facing toward on the blue line. Yep. As Van Acker drops it back to Owen Protz. Across for Cole Brown's drive. Save made by Liam Stushka. He'll hang on. Yeah, very and they are going to press two rookies into uh, some big minutes here as Florian Jackai is taken down and Lads will work the puck around behind his own goal. Jackai steps over to it. I believe Owen Protz is technically a rookie in Sudley's case and they're going to be entrusted with some big minutes the rest of the way. Yeah, and for the Bulldogs. He's his way forward. Shirk over for Sobolev's drive. He scores! Go from the 16-year-old. Bulldogs up 5-1. 38 shot. Here's the one by Radley tipped in by Brown and made it 4-1. And then just seconds later, Sobolev in a good shooting pressure by the Bulldogs throughout the game. You just see the Pete sink deeper and deeper into the defensive zone. And that's going to give you opportunity. The check from the point. That's knocked down. Dylan Tashirna will start his it to the front. Runs wide of Stushka's goal. Buck played low. Thomas going to roll off the end wall. To Sherna for Jackeye. Up to the line, Prox. Prox backside. There's a sweet spot in there somewhere. Indeed, oh. there's. Oh, Daniel Sobolev with a hit on Braden McCallum. Falling to the ice as he ran into Sobolev. And McCallum kind of loses his footing. Well, maybe not. I think Sobolev just came across and caught him. Kind of loses his footing. Plays it around back of the you net. You and I are about as far away from that decision-making process as you get. Yeah, I mean, the Bulldogs would have a... Uh, a situationally, a minute, second left in a 3-1 game. Brock, you'll see players almost feel obligated in an odd-man rush to move the puck along, but there, Shirk sees what's there. Jack Ice scores right off. That is a Bulldogs record. Three short-handed goals in the same penalty. had only two short-handed goals all season and they get three here wide open 8-1 for the Bulldogs as Jack I right down the middle of the ice and just rips that one but there sure she's there up for Zachary Lavoie now Patrick Thomas Jack I barreling around the edge Jack I tries it upstairs Bowen makes the shoulder stop Rolls behind the net. Lavoie pokes at it. That'll carry up off the dasher. And fair to say, if you're Jamie Key, you're just looking to get out of this third period without incident, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, you just want to pack this one up and take it home. 30 in that game. Eric Van Acker accelerating to the puck in neutral ice. Lucas Carmiris with two goals and an assist in that game for the Steelheads. Carmiris, the former line mate of Merrick Van Acker. That's uh, Chase Lefebvre playing it around back. Schoen on his feet, ready to escape. And I'm going to put them, I think, nine points. Mississauga is in third in that division, but that's going to put them up nine points on Mississauga, and that's going to be a tough, tough road for potential uh, opponent for the. Well, just about anybody in the East is a potential opponent for the Brantford Bulldogs at this point, aren't they? That's in the playoff position. Yeah, it's kind of funny that we're at that three-quarter pole, and there's really nothing down. As Matejcik off the wall and out.